Sunday afternoon and I've called at Lidl. It's quite late on, it's about three o'clock. And um, I did want some margarine. I wanted some for a couple of weeks, but they didn't have the light spread that I like. Anyway, they had some this time. But as I was there, they've got a gardening event on and look at these lovely citrus trees, 19.99. They did have some smaller ones for 12.99. <clears throat> and I was tempted, but to tell you the truth, I, th I have a feeling that uh, there's going to be a change in my living arrangements. Anyway, one day at a time. As I was walking round, I did see that uh, they've got lots of Easter stock. If you're in the market for buying Easter eggs and things like that. Here's what I actually bought. I got some tomato ketchup, their own brand, and that was £1.15. The mayonnaise was 99p. The fat spread, two of those, were 95 pence each. As I've said before, I buy the, this house blend because it's 10p cheaper look than the uh, Sunday blend. Every penny counts. Some more of their caramel biscuits, 99p. And they've started this value range of fish fingers that aren't, aren't as nice as um, Sainsbury's but they're certainly nicer than Tesco's, well, in my opinion anyway. And those are 80p, the same price. They have brought these beef meatballs down in price, look. £2.19. The only thing I actually got reduced were these Bramley apple pork sausages from 2 49 down to £1.74. So that was my Sunday afternoon little little um, food shop at Lidl. I didn't buy any fruit or vegetables because I want to see what's uh, going to be on their special offers for Easter. All in all I spent £11.95p. I come and sit with my cup of coffee I pull the chair in front of this window and have my coffee on a morning. And then I like to sit and meditate for an hour or so, half an hour, an hour, something like that. But this morning the gardeners have turned up with a new toy. It's a sit on lawn mower. It's so easy to get caught up and get stressed by things. I like to have distraction techniques if I find I'm getting stressed. I'll go out for a walk. I actually have a list of things to do that call my distraction techniques. One of them is certainly going out. And also on the list is jobs that you put off. I'll tell you what I tend to put off. Going through my paperwork. I keep old receipts and things like that. It can be a month before I sort them out. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to drink my coffee. 
let the gardeners do their thing and then I'm going to go through some paperwork get rid of old receipts and then when I've done that everything will have quietened down and I can come and sit back here and do my meditation Tuesday morning, first thing, half past eight actually, and the first place I called to look for this Easter veg offer was Lidl, and even though it said on the magazine it would be 19p, it was all 15p look. I just noticed in this little weekly where I said it was 19p, it's actually saying from Thursday the 28th to Wednesday the 3rd of April. Anyway, today's the 26th and they are 15p. And this was half past eight on the morning. I picked up a swede. Some of their green beans. Two, two green beans. There were only like two boxes, I think, if I remember rightly. Two lots of carrots and some of their potatoes. I've already got those potatoes that I got reduced to 10p last week. So I don't really need that many more. The carrots, if you like, like I always do, I will take the carrots and the potatoes out of the plastic, dry them on a rack overnight, and then you can pop them in the bottom of your fridge or a canvas bag in the dark the potatoes you can the carrots I will keep in the fridge I actually don't have a freezer if I had a freezer I would be blanching these or maybe making the potatoes into croquettes or something like that and freezing them and then I went on to Tesco's and it's quite near the Lidl so I was there for nine o'clock and their veg is 15p as well but this is the first day of the special offer at nine o'clock in the morning and look none of the potatoes well I'm presuming there were potatoes it said all rounders but they had none at nine o'clock on the first day of the special offer but I did get some of these onions for 15p and again I'll take those out of the plastic but stock up while you can I may go out this afternoon and have a look and see what Morrison's or Sainsbury's are doing. An Aldi actually. Anyway, if you see other vegetables on special offer, leave a, leave a comment in the uh, in the comment section below. And let us know, I think kale is on sale. I think I saw it at Morrison's and parsnips as well. Anyway, that's what I've got at the moment. I'm cooking the carrot and the swede together and when they're halfway cooked I'm going to add the beans and then I will use the water that they, I've cooked them in to make the gravy. I've parboiled some potatoes and I've let them steam dry and I'm going to drop those in some hot fat for roast potatoes. And they'll only take, well, 10 minutes for boiling. It took 10 minutes for boiling and 5 minutes to just roast them. So it's a quick way of roasting potatoes. I fried off the last of those reduced sausages, four of them, with some onions. Do you know I haven't had fried onions for ages? These are my mother's quick roast potatoes just drop them in the hot fat and then drain them on some kitchen paper I've only used one carrot and that much sweet luck and one packet of the beans but it's made that lovely meal 
and there's enough for another meal. There's two sausages under there. And there's all that vegetables left as well. That's only one carrot. And that much sweet. And I'm just going to add some of this rich gravy I've made. So stock up while you can, people. Mm. Might have been a bit generous with the gravy there. Take care.